too hot. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Creative Destruction video. So today guys, it is Wednesday, which means update day is coming tomorrow. The patch notes are out. I'm going to have a quick read through them. It's going to be a quick video to show you exactly what's to come. I've got some news, guys. Every single video I make from now on on Creative Destruction, I'm going to be giving away not one, not two, not three, not four, 500 diamonds every single video. And the only thing you have to do, guys, is get the likes over 500, smash that subscribe button, Comment down below and enjoy the video. Let's go. Yeah, baby, do you so damn fine? No, wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though. I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though. When it's over, I press for wine, though. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamin's in my pocket. Right, time to see what kind of trash update. I mean, <clears throat> Good update, uh, it's gonna be this Thursday. Okay guys, here we go. So, what I'm gonna do guys, I'm just gonna read slowly through the patch notes, tell you exactly what's to come tomorrow, see if there's anything good, um, and let's get into it. So, number one, the NBA Finals are in full swing. Uh, there's a new basketball theme coming tomorrow. Um, for all you basketball players, there's cheerleader looks and stuff like that, so... Again, more skins. That's going to be pretty cool. Uh, the betting stage of the NBA Finals is now closed. If you guys did follow the official Facebook, they were doing some sort of voting thing. You can win some free diamonds and some free skins. So that's closed now. Now getting into the actual fixes in the game. Okay, so number three. They fixed some abnormal problems caused by the wingman system in certain situations. And I don't know exactly what they mean about that, but... Um, I mean, it is a fix, so we are happy that they are fixing the game. Um, so, yeah, let's get on to the next one. Number four, they fixed a problem where there was a chance that the bombing guide would not spawn shells. The bombing guide. The trap that nobody uses. Okay. <laughs> Right, so uh, it looks like they've uh, they've obviously got priorities to fix at the CD headquarters. Um, the bombing guides, uh, I mean, I asked this in my stream yesterday. I actually asked all of my viewers, over 100 viewers, have you guys ever used the bombing guide or do you guys use it to this day? I'm pretty sure 99 of them said no. So I'm really not sure why the developers are updating the bombing guide trap when nobody uses it and it's something that shouldn't even be in the game so that's a bit weird that they're, they're not they're not prioritizing the main things and they're they're fixing that that's just weird in my opinion let me know what you think about that in the comments guys but that's weird um number five they fixed some look name errors occurring on the battlefield so i think that means um some of the names in your... When you go into a squad game, some of the names of your squad don't show up. Um, so you can't actually see where they are. So I think they fixed um, they fixed that in a sense. So that is a little fix. But again, something that's not massively needed in the game. Uh, number six. They fixed a problem where personalised settings were sometimes not read after switching device in certain specific situations. So. I think that is... That's probably a, a, an actual a really good update that they've done because um, there's it, you'll notice in some situations, guys, like custom building, sometimes when you're not on a flat surface or, I don't know, you're, you've got something blocking your way, you can't custom build up. So I think that means that they, uh, they are going to sort out that sort of thing. And as well, on mobile especially, guys, um, I don't know if it's the same on PC, but when you're on mobile, when, you, um, when you're holding down one button and you're trying to click another button, it doesn't register properly. So, um, I think that's what it means by that. They've optimized the sort of button presses more, which is great. Absolutely great. So, that's a good fix that they've done. That's probably the best fix of this update, looking at it. And they also fixed a problem where female characters lacked a jump button when using specific animations in store. So, when, um, when you're using the emote button, guys, um, with female characters, then the jump button uh, would sometimes disappear and go invisible. Um, so they have fixed that as well and look at it guys that looks like it's the end of the update so that's a bit weird it's not the biggest update um, not big at all there's only seven things that they've changed and they've I can only see one good thing that they've changed in that update so I mean again let me know what you think in the comments guys um, also some news going in the future 
I'm going to be hosting some uh, some big tournaments soon. And also, guys, there is a one-year Creative Destruction anniversary coming up. And I know the developers have been in talks with them, and they are um, planning to do something big for it. So it could be another sort of $60,000 tournament. It could be something else. Who knows? I don't know. The developers only know. So, again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, it's not the biggest update, but it's still something. Smash the subscribe button. Hit a like on the broadcast. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, boy! Gila.